السلام علیکم اسٹوڈینٹس آئی ایم یور کمپیوٹر ٹیچر عائشہ انور آئی ہوپ آل آف یور فائن اینڈ ہیو انجوائڈ یور وکیشنس ان اے گڈ وے ویلکم بیک ٹو یور آن لائن کلاسز ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اے نیو چیپٹر فرام یور بک that is chapter number 3 and this chapter is about office automation we will study about the different tools and softwares that are required for office automation these are the three main software that we are going to discuss during this chapter first of all we will be studying about office automation that what is office automation what does it mean and what do you require to automate an office then we will study about ms word as a first software to automate an office then we will be discussing spreadsheets and the software to create spreadsheets we will be discussing about microsoft excel and the third portion of the chapter contains an urdu editor program for urdu editor we will be discussing about in page this is an interesting chapter all you need to do is practice the as much as practice you can do you will learn more so after the completion of this chapter we will be able to rec recognize and define word processor that word is a word processor what does it mean how can we manage a document like how can we create open save save as and print the document then how can we edit the text what is the ribbon how can we insert different symbols and how can we type some equations by using ms word then we will learn how to format a text paragraph and page we will also study about the page break section break header footer and page numbers we will learn about the insertion and positioning of different pictures within a document then we will learn how to insert word art and what is a word art definitely we will discuss that too then how can we create tables and how can we format them what are the margins and how can we adjust the margins what are the hyperlinks then uh, from uh, this portion hyperlinks onwards this portion will be about spreadsheet softwares that is ms excel and in the end of this chapter we will learn the use of urdu editor all we need is to practice all the tools you will be given detailed demonstrations of these three softwares that we will discuss in this chapter you need to practice them first of all let's discuss what is office automation what does it mean how can we define it and let's discuss some important content related to the term that is office automation okay first of all we need to understand this what does office automation means it basically refers to the modern technology that is used to create 
store, process, and communicate information for accomplishing the basic tasks performed in the offices. What we need to understand is we need to create, store, process, and communicate the information within an office with the help of the modern technology is known as the office automation. It means that we use the latest technology, latest tools, latest softwares to perform the routine task of an office is the office automation. It basically facilitates the office automation that system is known as the office automation system oas office automation system so it means that the tools or the softwares that facilitates the office automation are known as the oas office automation systems and in office automation systems Basically, we use the modern technology used to create, store, process and communicate the information and the data and the routine task of an office. So it means that modern technology means by using computers, by using laptops, by using tablets, and obviously by using these latest equipment, we will be needing some latest softwares, latest tools to automate an office. So the most commonly used office automation software is Microsoft Office. It is a software that is commonly used and uh, widely used to automate an office. It is a complete uh, suit of different applications. Application means different softwares are present in Microsoft Office. And these are MS Word, MS Excel, MS Access, MS PowerPoint, MS Outlook and other so many other softwares. So it means Microsoft Office is a complete application package which contains many different software tools that are required to automate an office and that are used to perform routine tasks of an office. In this chapter, we will discuss two application packages from Microsoft Office and these are MS Word and MS Excel. You will learn about MS Access in uh, first year and uh, I hope all of you already knew the use of PowerPoint in your previous classes. As we have discussed earlier that there are different automation tools and softwares available. We will learn about MS Word as we have discussed MS Excel and in page as an Urdu editor. In routine office task, we need to handle the documents of different types and those documents can easily be created with the help of MS Word. All type of document related task will be done with the help of MS Word. We can create, save, change, format, different type of documents. And MS Word is a software which facilitates us for the word processing and it provides us the very large variety of features by using which we can easily create and share our 
documents in any office we have to perform some type of calculations like maybe in a, if we consider an example of a simple office we have to make the pay slips of the office employees or we have to make an inventory system or some calculation based task or some attendance sheet of the employees these type of documents can easily be created with the help of spreadsheets and to create spreadsheets we use microsoft excel all type of calculations can easily be performed by using ms excel so calculation based result or calculation based task can easily be done with the help of microsoft excel then in office we may be needing to use urdu as a language or we may need to create the documents in urdu language so to create the documents in urdu language we use an urdu editor in page in page is a separate software it is not available with microsoft word you have to install it separately once you install in page then you will be able to create the documents with urdu text and it is also an easy to use software in latest versions of ms word we can also type urdu but it is not a specialized software to type urdu text the special software to create urdu documents is in page you can also use ms word for urdu, urdu typing if you find it easy and it's not that much difficult we will also discuss as extra skill and as extra knowledge in some demonstration so here first of all we need to install the office automation software first of all we need to understand this the microsoft office is the commonly used office automation software basically it is a type of a productivity software used with the windows operating system if you are having windows operating system like windows 10 windows 7 like this we use microsoft office windows are also uh, created by the company microsoft and ms office is also created by the company microsoft so it is compatible with windows operating system and can easily be installed on any computer which has windows operating system it includes word processing spreadsheet presentations database and email communication programs that ms office for word processing we use microsoft word for spreadsheets we use microsoft excel for presentations we use ms powerpoint for databases we use ms access you will learn it in your first year then for emailing we use microsoft outlook so once you install the microsoft office completely these all the softwares will automatically be installed first of all you have to buy the cd of microsoft office and then run the installation or run the setup file from that cd after running the installation program it will ask to enter the product key and that product key is usually written on the cover of a cd 
simply type the product key in this portion the cursor is blinking over here you have to type the product key over here simply type the product key from the cd cover or you can find the product key as a text file present in this cd in this cd which contains the setup after entering the product key simply press this continue button that is present in front of this text box now here is an extra information do you know microsoft office 2010 cannot be installed on a computer on which windows xp operating system is installed windows xp was um, an old operating system which supported microsoft office previous versions from 2010 but office 2010 and its latest version onwards cannot be installed on the operating system windows xp because windows xp is an old operating system so you cannot install latest versions of microsoft office on this old operating system now after pressing this continue button you will see this software license agreement usually we don't read it and simply we click on this box let me change the color you have to click this box i accept the terms of this agreement after clicking this button simply click on this continue button which is present in front of it normally the end users like us we don't read the license agreement but it's a group good practice to read it it explains the terms and conditions to use the software simply click on this button i accept the terms of this agreement and press the continue button after pressing the continue button you will see a bar like this when this green color fills this bar it means the installation is almost done but this step may take several minutes to complete the installation procedure when that green bar is completed your installation of microsoft office is completed simply click on this close button to start using microsoft word here you need to understand the first version of Microsoft was released in 1983 for the disk operating systems and first Windows version was released in 1989. It means that the first version of Microsoft Word was released in 1983 for disk operating systems as we have discussed in previous chapters the command line interfaces but for windows operating system the first version of microsoft was released in 1989 it is important from objective point of view you just have to memorize the years okay after the completion of the software simply press this close button now microsoft office is ready to use there are many versions of microsoft office for example microsoft office 2010 
then they launched microsoft office 2013 then microsoft office 2016 and now microsoft office 2019 the latest version of microsoft office is 2019 the task that you have to do today is to find out the reasons why do we need office automation submit your task if you are having any queries and any confusion you can ask me that's all for today thank you